You are a sailor on board the German submarine U-28 during World War I. Your submarine is on a routine patrol in the waters off the coast of Scotland when you and your fellow crew members spot something strange in the water. At first, you think it might be an enemy vessel, but as you get closer, you realize that it's something else entirely, a massive sea creature. The creature has a long, serpentine body covered in scales and a pair of horns or antlers on its head. You and your crewmates are stunned by the sight of it, and you can't believe what you're seeing. The creature circles the submarine a few times, seemingly curious about your vessel, before disappearing back into the depths. You just encountered the U-28 creature. The U-28 creature is a mysterious and unexplained sea creature that was encountered by the crew of the German submarine U-28 during World War I. The incident took place on August 4, 1915, in the waters off the coast of Scotland. The captain of the submarine, Gustav Kleinschmidt, is so taken aback by the encounter that he writes a detailed report of the sighting, which is later declassified and made public. The report described the creature as being over 60 feet in length, with a long, serpentine body covered in green scales. It had two large horns or antlers on its head, and was capable of swimming at high speeds through the water. The creature was also noted to have been very agile, moving in quick, darting movements that suggested it was hunting for prey. Kleinschmidt's report provided a detailed description of the sighting, including the time and location of the encounter, the weather conditions at the time, and the behavior of the creature. He also included sketches and diagrams of the creature's physical features, including the shape and placement of its horns, the length length and thickness of its tail, and the color and texture of its scales. In the years that follow, the story of the U-28 creature becomes something of a legend among sailors, and people begin to speculate about what the creature might have been. There are many theories surrounding the creature. Here are some of them. Number one, some believe that the creature was a surviving member of a prehistoric species, while others suggest that it may have been an undiscovered species of sea monster. One popular theory is that the U-28 creature may have been a plesiosaur, a long-necked marine reptile that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. While most scientists agree that plesiosaurs went extinct millions of years ago, some cryptozoologists and enthusiasts of the paranormal believe that there may still be surviving populations of these creatures in the world's oceans. Others suggest that the U-28 creature might have been a previously unknown species of sea serpent, one that had somehow managed to elude human discovery until that fateful encounter with the U-28 submarine. Number two, giant eel. Some researchers have suggested that the U-28 creature may have been a giant eel, such as the oarfish, which is a long, thin fish that can grow up to 36 feet in length. The oarfish has a long, serpentine body and a pair of fins that could be mistaken for horns or antlers. Number three, optical illusion. One not-so-fun theory is that it was an optical illusion. Some skeptics have suggested that the U-28 creature sighting was the result of an optical illusion or was simply a complete hoax, such as a large log or floating debris that was mistaken for a sea monster. However, the crew of the U-28 reported that the creature moved with purpose and agility, suggesting that it was a living creature. So what do you think? Are the stories real? Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.